Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up Orca in parallel. So maybe you've been reading through the manual or maybe you saw it in the Orca input library and you were like curious as to, I've set it up in serial, but my calculations are taking a little bit long and I'd like to try and speed them up a little bit. I'm not using all of the cores available to me. How can I do that? Well, one of the ways to do that is to use parallel computing. Now it involves a little bit more installation to get up and running, but is by and large, not that difficult. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to download some sort of uh, MPI program. So these MPI programs are like message uh, passing interfaces, which allow the cores to communicate with each other and um, run uh, calculations in parallel rather than just in serial on a single core. So uh, within the manual, it suggests that since we are running this on Windows, that we can use MS MPI, which is a fork of MPI CH. Um, so if we go down to uh, calling the program, serial and parallel, um, it will explain here um, how to do that. Calling it in parallel uses uh, the keyword PAL4 to call four um, cores. Here we have um, as well, Microsoft MPI. So we have Ms. Ute Becker to um, thank for this, uh, at least um, for the MPI part. So uh, now that we know that we need MS MPI, we can go and search for it. So if we search for it, MS MPI, then we will get a link to here, um, which will bring us to the Microsoft webpage. And then we can of course download it from the MS MPI uh, webpage. So if we download those, we click this and this, and then download them both. Whenever they have been downloaded, we can then open them uh, wherever the downloads are downloaded to your, your computer and set them both up. So we need the MS MPI setup, and we also need um, the SDK. So install that, um, finish, and then install the SDK as well. Accept the license, okay, next, install again. Okay, so now that those have both been installed, we can now see if we can run our calculation in parallel. So now that we have um, that installed, let's go and take a look at our input file. So this is just a very simple input file for water that we had generated last time for uh, in order to test our installation of Orca on Windows. So um, I'm going to put a new keyword here as is recommended in the manual. That's gonna be PAL4. And so once I have that there, then I'm going to be able to save that. And then I can try and run that using my uh, PowerShell. Okay, so we need to navigate of course to the working directory, which is on my desktop. Um, and then I want to check that I have, uh, yep, my h2o.imp is there. So I call Orca. I, no need to call MPI uh, or anything like that. Just call Orca. Orca will know what to do according to the manual. And then if everything has gone correctly, then it will run this calculation using four cores rather than just in serial. So let's see if, if all goes to plan. So it's currently running. Everything seems to be okay for now. Hopefully that continues and we get our output file and we can check that to make sure that has been run successfully. So in this case, um, for such a simple calculation, it's probably going to actually slow it down as opposed to speed it up. But you'll see the benefits of this kind of work whenever we go to larger, more complicated structures, especially those including metals with large electron counts. So there we go. So it's finished uh, the calculation. So we're going to want to try and um, open that up and have a look at it. So I'll go down here, open up my directory, and then open up my output file. So uh, we're going to want to go down to the bottom and make sure that everything has been run correctly. Um, it says here it's run the rotational orca ter terminated normally after 23 seconds, 19 milliseconds, and it ran in parallel. So that's um, exactly what we wanted to see. And so it gives you an idea of how to run orca in parallel using multiple cores on your um, computer. Okay. So that's the end of the input. Um, and that's the end of the output that we have seen that that is executed normally. So thank you for watching this. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if there are any uh, topics which are proving difficult for you and see if we can make um, some nice outputs for that. So thank you.
Bye-bye.